and welcome to this week's lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to be sharing with you how I use my vocal dynamics and my piano dynamics combined to be able to woo an audience so that they feel what you feel. Because ultimately, it's about expressing yourself through music. And wouldn't it be amazing if you could just play the piano, close your eyes and just feel it. And then once you finish, look up and have everybody in awe of you. Wouldn't that be really cool? So the first thing we need to think about is telling a story. And I want you to imagine a really good storyteller when they're on stage and they tell the story, they don't go, once upon a time, there was a lady and she went down to the park and she met a friend and they went to the cinema. How boring is that? Yeah, it's all one dynamic. And I see this a lot of the time in my students. They come to me and the whole thing, the whole song is one dynamic. There's no loud, there's no quiet, or the voice doesn't match the piano. So now listen to the story. Once upon a time, there was a lady and she went down to the park and she met her friend. And then they went to the cinema. Yes, okay, it might not be a great story, but can you hear the dynamics? Can you hear how much more engaged you are just by going loud and quiet? or by, the, by elongating the words, pauses and all that. We need to think of it as a piano player, but also as a vocalist. Vocalists are inconsistent with their dynamics. And so what I mean by that is they may sing the whole song the same, the same volume. And I see this actually quite a lot with inexperienced cabaret singers. They literally just belt the whole song. And there's no dynamics, there's no emotion, it's just, I'm gonna shout this song. I bet you've, you've seen singers like this. Or the opposite, they sing very quietly throughout the whole song. And it's like, hello, the song needs a belt. And they don't, they don't give you the belt. Think about your voice and what you can and can't do because some singers really struggle with the belt. Some singers, they are born to belt, right? So if you are born to belt, yeah, and you've got a very powerful voice, then I would suggest, you know, you sing all those ballads, but you wanna be pulling your voice right back in the verses and then bring that belt out in the chorus. Or when you feel there's a frustration in the song or a heartbreak or a sorrow, that's when you want your belt. You don't want your belt throughout the whole song. Maybe you struggle with belting. And then in which case, there are some fantastic singers who, who pull right back. And in actual fact, people like Billie Eilish, yeah? Billie Eilish doesn't belt at all. Very quiet, but she pulls back even more. So it has the illusion of, of dynamics, but she just pulls right back and she's almost like pulling the audience in. So you really want to be thinking about your particular voice. The next thing you singers want to be doing is if you are going to be belting, you want to make sure you are in the right key for your voice, because if you are not in the right key, you're gonna really struggle with the vocal nodes or you're gonna be making your voice very, very sore. A lot of the songs like Adele sings and like or Mariah Carey, all the big belters, they always sing around that G, A and B for the females of you out there, right? They've got fantastic belts, but for a lot of us, we struggle to belt at that B. Like, can you hear that? Like that note in itself, you're right on the cusp between your chest voice and your head voice. And so I see this, either the singers sing and they bring their chest voice up. Hello from the other side. So I'm singing from my throat, bringing my chest voice up and I could already hear it's tightening. Or they sing in their head voice. Hello from the other side. I must have caught a thousand times. They've got no power in their voice, yeah? And they desperately wanna share with the world their belt, but they can't do it. So the key thing with that is knowing your range. Maybe it's a case of bringing it down just a little bit, only by three semitones. Alternatively, you might wanna sing in your mixed voice, which is here. Yeah, I talk a lot about this in my Express Your Truth course, but by singing from here and resonating from here, you kind of have a blend of your chest and head voice. So. Hello from the other side, I must have caught a thousand times. Yeah, so I'm singing from here rather than from here. Another thing that you need to understand is all about connecting with the words. 
I see this a lot too with vocalists is they don't believe what they're singing. They're just going through the motions and singing their song. You've got to feel it. You've got to imagine that you're singing to your ex-boyfriend or you've got to imagine that you've, you've lost someone deeply, deeply with say a song like Hello. You know, you need to put yourself in that story. So they're just a few tips for how to express yourself dynamically with vocals. But this isn't just about vocals. This is about piano vocals. I see this a lot whereby we have students that are singing and playing the same thing no dynamics so so listen to this hello it's me i was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me okay for a start i'm pushing my voice two there's nowhere to go i can't belt from that um three there's no soul in it and four, the piano is really overbearing on the voice, right? So you can't even hear the voice. If we were to have a look at hello and we look at the words, hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet to go over everything. They say that time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't doing much healing. That is a vulnerable word. They're vulnerable words. You imagine that someone's on the phone. They would be like, you know, whispering that or, you know, talking very quietly and reflectively, wouldn't they? They wouldn't be going, oh, hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet to go over everything. They tell you that it's the time supposed to heal you. That's the thing. That's the key element to that particular phrase. Yeah. So let's think about how we would use those words. We'd feel it and it'd be like, let's go quietly. Yeah. Let's use those dynamics of quietness. But we're playing with the vocals and the piano. So what we don't want to do is have the piano really loud and overbearing. We want the piano to be quiet, to accompany the voice and let the voice really shine bright. So look at me with this, right? Hello, it's me. Okay, so I've left a lot of space. It's almost like there's like some pauses between each sentence, like a ringing. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet. So quiet. The great thing about being really quiet is when you pull back, it means that when you belt, you're not actually really belting, you're just increasing your volume. But you can see with the piano, there's not a lot of piano going on. I'm just using my sustain pedal with a few basic chords and letting it elongate. And then we want to build. So the next bit goes, hello, can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. Now, you can see I pushed that forward. I'm going to pull back again. I've forgotten how it felt to have the world fall at my feet. I'm going to move it forward. There's such a difference between us and a million miles. So you can hear I'm pushing it a little bit because I'm starting to get frustrated. And then this is when the belt comes in. Okay, so I want you to notice this. When I sing with the belt, I'm singing in the lower range of the piano. Okay, so watch my hands. Hello from the other side. I must have got a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart. Now, I've gone to the lower range because that is what brings the power. If I'd have played it up at the top range, this is what it would sound like. Hello from the other side I must have caught a thousand times There's no power there. There's no power. So when you're belting, always play lower. And when you want to pull back, play higher. And that's the wonderful thing about piano. There are so many dynamics. We've got over six octaves that we can play. Okay, so you want to be thinking about that. Also, while you're playing the piano and singing, you want to make sure that you're matching. So if you're singing quietly, the piano's singing quietly. If you're singing loudly, the piano needs to be loud. Not as loud as this voice, but it still needs to be supportive. 
And very finally, one of the great tricks about belting is by pulling back. And so what I mean by that is, instead of starting the song on a belt, you wanna sing that song as quietly as possible so that when you actually get to that belt in the chorus, you're not actually belting, you're just singing louder, but it gives that illusion of a belt. And that is what makes Save Your Voice one, but also it, it, it gives you that space. So if you wanna go even further, you can go further. So I hope that's been of help. That's just a few brief tips on how you can use dynamics to express yourself and to really um, share that story with the audience so that when you finish playing and you open your eyes, you look up, people are with you. They see you, they're feeling you, yeah? And you're making an impact with your music. Now, if you've never played the piano before or you've never sung before or you've never written a song before, I actually have a free guide. So if you just click on the link below, and I teach you a couple of chords, I teach you basics of piano and how to write your very first song. So just click on the link if you wanted to, if you wanna download that. Alternatively, if you really enjoyed this and you wanna watch more of these videos, just click on the subscribe button and I will see you in the next class.